Hello everyone. Welcome back to Lit Lounge. Today, we are going to explore something fascinating. How we produce speed sounds using different parts of our body. We'll also take a closer look at how the respiratory, phonatory and articulatory systems all work together to produce speech. Ready? Let's dive into the world of the organs of speech. Our body has three main systems that are essential for speech. The respiratory system, the phonatory system, and the articulatory system. These systems work in harmony to produce the sounds we hear in speech. Let's start with the respiratory system. This system includes the lungs, muscles of the chest, windpipe or trachea, and bronchi. Let's start with the lungs. The lungs fill with air when we breathe in. They have tiny sacs called alveoli where oxygen enters the blood. The lungs act as a storage tank for air. We control how much air we release to make sounds. More air makes us louder while less air makes us softer. Next we have the chest muscles. Diaphragm this muscle moves down to pull air in and pushes air out when it relaxes. These muscles control airflow, helping us speak clearly and maintain a steady sound. Now let's talk about the windpipe or trachea. The trachea is a tube that connects the voice box to the bronchi, allowing air to pass through. The trachea carries air from the lungs to the vocal cords. Any blockage can make it hard to speak clearly. Next are the bronchi. The bronchi are tubes that branch from the trachea into each lung helping distribute air. They direct airflow into the lungs which is important for clear speech. Moving on to the phonetary system which includes the larynx also known as the voice box and the vocal cords. When air passes through the vocal cords, they vibrate to create sound. Glottis The glottis is the opening between the vocal cords. When we breathe, the glottis opens to allow airflow, and when we speak, the vocal cords close partially to create sound. The tension of the vocal cords determines the pitch of your voice. If the vocal cords are tight, the sound is higher pitched, and if they are loose, the sound is lower. Finally, we have the articulatory system, which shapes the sounds into the words we speak. This system includes the tongue, teeth, lips and the roof of the mouth. Now, let's explore the roof of the mouth. It is divided into several parts. The first part right after your front teeth is known as the teeth ridge or alveolar ridge or alveolum. It's important for producing various speed sounds. Next, we have the hard palate, which is the hard, bony part of the roof of the mouth, which is softer and fleshy. It plays a significant role in determining whether sounds are nasal or oral. At the end of the soft palate, you'll find a small fleshy part called the uvula. The structure helps in the articulation of certain sounds. Moving on to the tongue, it can be divided into various parts, the tip, the blade, the front, the center, the back and the root. The blade of the tongue lies opposite the teeth ridge when the tongue is in the position of rest. Its front end is called the tip of the tongue. The front lies opposite the hard palate. The back of the tongue lies opposite the soft palate. The center of the tongue lies between the front and the back. Following that, we move to the soft palate, also known as the velum. The root of the tongue lies beyond the back of the tongue. These are the positions occupied by the different parts of the tongue when the speech organs are at rest. Each of these sections plays a unique role in sound prediction. What we commonly refer to as the throat in everyday language is actually called the pharynx. Behind the pharynx, we find the back wall of the pharynx. 
Have you ever heard the term Adam's apple? This is commonly referred to as the larynx, another vital structure involved in voice production. In addition to the main organs, the nasal cavity is part of the articulatory system as well. Sounds like m, n, and ng are produced when the soft palate lowers, allowing air to flow through the nose. This creates nasal sounds. To sum it up, we use three systems for speech. The respiratory system, which provides the airflow we need, including the lungs, chest muscles, windpipe and bronchi. The phonatory system, which produces sound through the vibration of the vocal cords and the control of the glottis. The articulatory system, which shapes the sound into distinct speech using the tongue, lips, teeth and more. And that's how we produce speech. These systems all work together to help us speak, sing and communicate every day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. See you next time on Lit Lounge.